Hi friends, we are going to cover reporting that is classic report, interactive report and interactive grid and charts in this session. So what is a classic report? Classic report is a canned report. The user doesn't have the ability to interact with the report. It's just a report that you can see I can view the report. Interactive report is a report where the user can do interaction with the report. That means he can sort, he can, um, he can uh, filter, he can um, calculate aggregates and things like that. He can do, he can also hide fields uh, or display order, he can change. All these capabilities there in interactive report. Interactive grid is like an interactive report, but interactive grid has an added feature that it in, in user can also insert, update, delete record in an interactive grid. And chart is uh, a visual uh, visual way of viewing the data. So we'll cover this uh, this uh, few topics uh, in this session. So let's go back to the application builder. Let's go to the application and we create a new page. Let's call it a report. Okay, we'll create a blank page. We create a blank page and call this page report. Report. Click next next finish okay so in this page we are going to create a new region create region we call this classic classic and the query source will be classic report table or view we will say select query we will say select star from departments save this so we have created a classic report next we will create another region where we will say inter interactive report and then we will say interactive report we will say table of view we will say SQL query here we will say select star from departments ok let's save this and then we will have another region we will call it interactive grid. Interactive grid. We'll select interactive grid and we will. Now in the interactive grid, in the attribute, we'll enable edit. We'll enable edit so that the user can insert, update, delete record. Save. Now let's run this form. Interactive grid doesn't have a primary key defined. Okay. So interactive grid. Let's change this to table on view, table name, departments. Department ID.
now let's save this and run the report doesn't have a problem okay for editing we need a primary key so we have to define the primary key now where to define the primary key let's find out database column okay primary key save and run the report so this is a classic report as you can see it doesn't have any ability to do any interaction only sorting is possible other interactions are not possible but uh, this is an interactive uh, report here you can you can uh, do all these actions like you can filter you can sort aggregate compute you can format highlight charts group by pivot report say you can save report or you can download that is interactive grid interactive report and this is interactive grid here in addition to all those options all those options that is there in interactive report in addition to all those options that is there in interactive report you can also modify the data say shipping if you want to modify the data shipping as yes, you can do so and say save so changes same so this is the main difference between an interactive report and interactive grid so as you can see in the interactive grid you can also add row and you can do so let's add a row Let's give it a department, say 300, test, save, changes saved. So this test department is saved now. So if you click here, you can also delete this row. So this, this is about classic report, interactive report and interactive grid. And next we will create a chart. We will create a chart. So in the region, we will create a region. Then we will click a chart. So database table or view table name say departments save column mapping column mapping okay series new X axis Y axis so Y axis you now save this so what is the new column mapping label is required okay in series you have to give a column right name Location ID Hello. But let's save. Let's run this chart. Let's do one thing. Let's change uh, the table so chart. Table will change to employees. Employees. Okay. Series new. 
open database change to employees employees and label salary aggregation average value say department id save next run the report so you can see okay i i should change it the other way around so that this is the salary and this is the employee id so i will change it other way around this i will change to department id and this value i should change to salary okay average save and now if i run the report so as you can see department 50 average salary is 3k department 40 average salary is 6k department 110 average salary is above 9k so this this is how you can build a chart so we have covered classic report interactive report interactive grid and a chart uh, so these are the reporting solutions available in oracle apex so you can create as many reports as you want in your page and in this way the way i showed you you can create different types of reports thank you we'll see you in the next session